I had so many memorable conversations with Big, but the one thing that always sticks in my head is Biggie wanted me to be his DJ, and I turned it down. Then Biggie wanted me to be his manager, road manager or manager, and I turned that down. The reason I turned it down is because, you know, I wanted Big to have his, you know, this was his time. I already had my time touring with Big Daddy Kane, and I told Big, listen, if I go on tour with you, all the stuff y'all do on the road, all that crazy, it ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna run a tight ship, so you really should have your own fun and enjoy yourself because I'm gonna be a sergeant if I go on the road with you. So while he was on the road, this was like one of the first tours that he was on, I was going through a situation where, um, I had old rent. Stuff started kind of slowing up with me or whatever in my career. And it got to like me owing like six months rent. My uncle was like, yo man, listen man, nephew or no nephew, you don't come with this rent, I'm, I'm really gonna send you an eviction notice. The only person that I really could think of to talk to as far as helping me out with this situation was Big. But Big had a tendency of always changing his cell number. Like, he would change his cell number like sneakers, like every other week he would change his cell number. So I couldn't get a hold of him. So. I contacted DJ Enough, this is DJ at the time. So when I contacted DJ Enough, um, the first thing when Enough said hello, I just started bawling out crying on the phone. And Enough was like, yo, what's wrong? And I was like, yo, man, I'm backed up in rent. My uncle's getting ready to evict me. I really need to get a, get a hold of Big. Once Big got on the phone, I started bawling out crying. And he's like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You know? And I told Big the same situation, like, yo, my uncle getting ready to kick me out you know, I need some bread or whatever the case is. And um, Big was like, listen, man, go see my accountant. I want you to go see my accountant tomorrow. Um, he gonna take care of you. I never told Big how much I needed. I just told him, look, my uncle gonna kick me out. I'm six months behind in rent. I never told him a number. I go see the accountant the next day. He had a check for me for $10,000. And so, you know, it's like, um, when that happened, it's, you know, hindsight 2020, it's like a thing where here it is, you, you go out your way to, to look out for somebody to, and put them in the position, and then they kind of reciprocate that back to you. That experience just taught me a, a lesson of, um, you know, always try to rely on yourself to, um, to make a dollar. When Big did that for me, it kind of made me understand that, you know, for now on, I gotta rely on myself to do what I need to do to take care of myself. I can't rely on the next person to see what the next person gonna do to put money in my pocket. So that's, you know, hands down, probably one of the most memorable moments I had with Big, with him being there for me. No questions asked, he just, stop crying, just go get the check. And you know, he was there. Yeah, what's going on is to finish your Mr. C, the person that discovered B.I.G. And I most definitely, Talk to Biggie.